Alfred George Tuck was born in 1894 in Kyneton, Victoria, and grew up on High Street in the town. He was one of James and Mary Tuck's six children. Four of his ten cousins who enlisted in the Australian Army in World War I were killed. Family legend has it that Tuck's brother Stanley was so upset at the apparent death and disappearance of his little brother that he enlisted. An Anglican, Tuck was a tinsmith and plumber like his father. He was 21 and unmarried when he joined up on the 12th of July 1915 in Melbourne, having served in the 66th Battalion of the Citizens Force before enlisting. Assigned to the 29th Battalion for Victoria, Tuck was given the regimental number of 1252. His initial training was at Seymour before joining the rest of the 8th Brigade at Broadmeadows. He left Port Melbourne on the HMAT A11 Ascanius on the 10th of November, arriving in Suez on the 7th of December, where Tuck's unit formed part of Australia's 5th Division. They trained there and were involved in defensive duties to protect the Suez Canal. On the 16th of June, 1916, Tuck left Alexandria on the troop ship HMT Tunisien and disembarked in Marcel, France, on the 23rd. From there they were taken up north by train before moving into the front line at night on the 10th of July, taking up position in the Boigneur Grenier. One of the worst days in Australia's military history, Brumel was intended as a strategic diversion directed at German trenches near a small hill known as the Sugarloaf. The 5th Division alone suffered more than 5,500 casualties. Australian war correspondent Charles Bean wrote in his diary, We found the old no man's land simply full of our dead. Tuck was one of these, dying in the first 24 hours of the battle. One member of the 29th Battalion summed up the battle. The novelty of being a soldier wore off in about 5 seconds. It was like a butcher's shop. Since he was initially listed as missing in action, his father contacted the army in an attempt to find out what happened, he wrote. I have just seen a letter from Private R. Fangen that number 1252 Corporal A.G. Tuck, D Company, 29th Battalion, AIF, is now a prisoner. Can you give me any particulars of my son? He was officially reported missing between the 19th and 20th of July last. These letters went back and forth. Tuck's father died thinking that his son may have still been alive. Three months after the battle, the mystery was solved. In a hospital in France, a man named Jay McIntosh wrote, At 9pm on July 19th, the 29th Battalion was holding trenches at Fromel and attacking the enemy trench about 300 yards off. The battalion held the second line of trenches for 11 hours. During the attack, a shell burst near Corporal Tuck and after the smoke and mud had cleared off, there was no sign of him and several other men standing near him. A letter written in German was also sent from Berlin saying that Tuck had died. They had taken his identification and then buried him in a mass grave at Pheasant Wood. The bodies were discovered in 2009 and a year later a new cemetery was built close to the site. In 2012, Alfred Tuck's body was identified and added to the cemetery.